Hi, I'm Ritika Khattar and today I'm sitting in the warm and comfortable home of the enigmatic Vasundra Tiwari Bruta. Hi Vasundra ji, you studied literature and art. How does literature influence your art? Being an artist was not really an option for me because you didn't form a career from art, at least not at that time. So I studied literature and I have never regretted it because it's uh, opened up many worlds to me. In fact, after literature, I did a year of law, studying art side by side. My art got better. It got appreciation. So I just decided to do art. And it was really funny, a lawyer friend of mine came and to dissuade me. Do you know this is economic suicide? I said, I'll take the chance. But I never regretted it one bit. Art is a reward in itself. Just being in the studio is its own reward. Do all these different experiences influence your art? Everything comes together. In fact, that is the, um, that's the most seductive part of art. The female form has always been an inspiration in your art. To choose a human being as a subject comes naturally and to choose a woman even more naturally is because that's the form I relate to. The only thing is that yes, I used the nude form and I used it in the early 80s when uh, most women artists bold. were not doing that. Men in the 80s were doing nudes as well. I don't think they were perceived in the same way. Nude form has been there ever since art began. But maybe the viewpoint of a man is different because the form of a woman is an object to a man. Whereas when a woman does it, it's the subject. Yeah, being a woman artist, you have been very strong and you have voiced or kind of depicted what you have thought. The woman is strong. She's not weak. She's not self-conscious. She's just there. So I think that that also was a, a different attitude because she's not depicted as a victim. She's depicted in a more in maybe sometimes in a softer way, sometimes in a uh, combative way. So Vasundra ji, you have been pretty bold in depicting what you've thought. Do you think you have helped pave the way for a lot of other women artists to kind of express more freely? Well, they all expressed freely except for the subject matter. So the, this subject was taboo. But today it isn't. So maybe to that extent, maybe I did play a part. People believe that some of your works kind of depict female genitalia. Do you also perceive it the same way? It's not women's genitalia. It's, it's basically a feminine force, which is related maybe more bending towards the flower form but uh, the flower form simplified and made, uh, it's the female made a little androgynous because you have this long stem that carries it. Through the genesis of your work, what different techniques have you developed? Technique means it's a finding a way to express yourself. I remember struggling many years ago on a canvas with wanting the texture of a string. And then I went to this room where they were doing graphics with the printing press and all. I took the roller and I rolled it onto paper and it was fabulous. I, I got exactly what I wanted. It was a technique that came out of necessity. I was fascinated by the silver leaf and I started using it on the canvas and then I started just using that and building it up and building it up. And the beauty of uh, silver is also that it uh, tarnishes. It, it reflects time, right? One thing leads to another, leads to another, and that is the, that's the beauty of art. Thank you so much, Vasundraji, for being on our show. It's been wonderful talking to you. Thank you, Ritika. It's been lovely. Well, we don't have any more time for today, but stay tuned to Behind the Canvas for more insight into art and artists.